Hey guys, CWAV here. Today we're building giant Jenga with this super neato travel and setup case that I designed and built 100% myself. Stick around and I'll show you exactly how I did it. Here's some pictures and a time lapse of the design and construction process. Once I was done building the case, I broke it down and cleaned it up. By the time it was all said and done, I spent about 10 hours sanding down every single surface of every single wooden component of this entire set with 120 grit sandpaper and then 220 grit sandpaper. I'm using 100% untreated lumber throughout this entire process. This is the cover for your case and what you will use to line up your blocks at the start of every new game. All right, I'm gonna show you how the case works. Again, this is 100% my design. I did not see or copy this from anywhere. All right, let's take a look at the case that I designed. 60 blocks stacked up, measures 29 and 3 eighths. I measure my case a little bit long. These boards right here, 29 and 7 eighths because I don't want the blocks mega tight. Both end boards, I'm gonna measure nine by 10. Um, I just reused some rope that I have from uh, another project. Um, you're going to want to use something pretty substantial because this thing has got some weight once it's all set up. Uh, let's take a look at hardware here. Uh, two inch by half inch mending braces. That's these right here uh, to hold your setup mechanism on. Uh, you need your hooks and eye, hook and eyes and dowels for your door lease. Um, you're going to attach your rope with number 10 three quarter inch and quarter inch washers. Uh, let's see here. One by ten. Uh, started off with six footers. Uh, number eight inch and five eight screws to secure everything together. A little bit of wood glue. Tape measure, speech square, pencil, and of course, your PPE. Gotta have safety glasses, gloves, and earplugs for sure. I measured the boards on the little setup V block thing here to um, like 29 and a quarter. A little bit shorter intentionally because, again, I don't want it, you know, mega tight in the case. This is the door mechanism that I created. You're gonna need four hook and eyes and four quarter inch by inch and a quarter long dowels, okay? Whenever you attach these on, whenever the case is sitting on the feet, you want all of your hook and eyes to be facing down. Uh, to get this started, I just I drilled a hole right here, a quarter inch hole. Get all the way through your end board and a little bit into your case board. Not very deep, as you can see. You're not going in very, you're not going in very deep. Uh, once you, uh, uh, I'm sorry. 
And then I screwed screwed this down right here, just bare, barely enough to hold it. Screwed the other holes, took this out. And then the Evergood type bond. Put it on there, on your uh, dowels, put them, put them uh, through your holes. Of course, mine didn't go through straight, so you can see the holes are kind of, you know, offset or whatever. Um, I did ha have to kind of play with them to get it to go in there uh, smoothly, but that's how it works. All right, the reason you use the number 10 three quarter inch wood screws to secure your rope because you don't want it to stick through and gar up your blocks. Um, putting the hook and eyes on um, when it's sitting sitting on the feet. I tried to I tried to mount this side a little bit a little bit higher so it'll have like a little bit of a downward trajectory. Uh, make sure they're both you know facing down. I think I said that earlier. Um, just kind of eyeballed it. Um, nothing special. Same with the spacing on the feet. You know we're not building missiles here, so um, I think it'll I think it'll be functional. This is how I made the feet. measure two inches it's going to be about right there obviously you use your measuring tape and use your miter and cut this right here and right here after I got everything put together, I uh, used one by twos to brace the area in between the feet and give it a little more stability. You're gonna start off with five eight foot long two by threes. If you're me, you're gonna spend way too long sanding down each one of them. Uh, you wanna do this first because you're only sanding down five pieces instead of 60 individual blocks. Your boards are gonna measure an inch and a half tall by two and a half inches wide, and you wanna cut your pieces three times your width to make a square whenever you stack them all up. So you're gonna cut them to seven and a half inches each. That's going to give you 60 total blocks for your set. I spent varying amounts of time sanding down my boards to give them a slightly different, different thickness so uh, as to potentially and hopefully enhance the gameplay. I, I didn't want all of them to be exactly the, the same width. Once you've got all your blocks cut, you set your hourglass up and get to work cleaning up your frayed ends. And then we'll be getting pretty close to some actual gameplay, which has turned out to be a whole lot of fun. We gotta finish cleaning these babies up first though. Now we can start playing. that's pretty much going to wrap it up as always i appreciate you guys taking the time to look at my videos and support me stay tuned for more really great stuff